Uh, we believe that uh, Ethiopian Airlines is still 70 years young and uh, starting a new journey with Vision 2025 with a tremendous contribution to the socio-economic development of the continent of Africa. The rise of Ethiopian Airlines as one of the most pioneering aviation companies on the continent is a compelling story and one that narrates the journey from the inaugural flight in 1946 into today being one of the global leaders in aviation excellence and efficiency. With a dynamic growing cargo division, a dedicated commitment to customer service, a meticulous focus on safety and maintenance, coupled with a world-class reputation for some of the best training in the industry, the growing strength-to-strength -strength position of Ethiopian Airlines at 70 years is a testimony to a company that has had the ability to adapt and thrive in today's ever-competitive aviation sector. With the ever-changing and often volatile landscape of the aviation industry globally and in Africa, the need for critical leadership and foresight from management and a team with vision and passion are core attributes that Ethiopian Airlines has embraced over the last seven decades. From an initial joint venture with the then Trans World Airlines in December 1945, to the launch of its own individual first commercial operations in April 1946, Going back to history, uh, although the airline is 70 years old, uh, uh, it's an initiative uh, project, a very uh, uh, active project of the emperor at that time, after uh, uh, or before the Second World War. And uh, it started with a management contract with TWA, uh, a very rewarding partnership for both sides. Uh, so uh, the airline has started to make a very strong mark in the African continent starting from the 60s. In the early 60s, as you know, uh, the uh, continent of Africa was in a new era where most of the countries were taking independence from colonization. And uh, parallel to that, uh, the uh, pioneer Pan-African leaders uh, initiated the formation of the Organization of African Unity and the airline was there to support that uh, process. So late 60s, early 70s, uh, the management successfully take, took over from uh, TWA. So the first Ethiopian CEO was Colonel Sebrat. Mid 70s, Boeing, uh, the Boeing company came up with a very modern airplane, the 767. So the airline was the first to take uh, uh, delivery of that airplane in Africa. So you can say that uh, the 60s, the 70s, and continuing to today, the airline has always been a vision technology leader in the continent. Founded with a pan-African vision of bringing the continent together, Ethiopian being the first ever African airline to reach the skies, fast reached this objective. With today, more international routes than any other airline in Africa. Ethiopian Airlines based today, Bali Airport, represents a dynamic logistic hub to the African continent that is unrivaled in terms of its destinations. With an emphasis on fast turnaround time for passengers, location within minutes of Addis Ababa city centre, three specialised travel lounges and a VIP salon, increasingly make this airport the airport of choice when traveling to and from the continent. Bali Airport and its perimeter interior also conceals a rigorous and disciplined regime of structured departments. These departments ensure that Ethiopian Airlines operations maintain efficiency and precision. Basically, uh, we provide base maintenance, line maintenance. Here in base maintenance, we provide airframe maintenance, uh, engine maintenance, component maintenance as well. Uh, with regard to the airframe maintenance, uh, we do periodic maintenance of all uh, all Boeing model airplanes except uh, you can say the 747. Uh, the rest we do it here. We do all complete maintenance from A to Z. Pretty soon we'll be introducing the Airbus A350 in a few months' time. Uh, so now we are setting up to do uh, maintenance on that airplane as well. As you know, the S350 is the latest technology airplane in the world. 
Uh, when I say complete overall, we do complete fish parts, disassembly, inspection, cleaning, and testing and certifying. In addition to that, we provide uh, maintenance service not only for the parent airline, Ethiopian Airlines, but we provide maintenance service to other operators in the region, namely in Africa and the Middle East mainly. Like Rwanda Air, we do, a pro we do provide a maintenance service, complete maintenance service. Uh, Aska Airlines uh, in West Africa, in Togo, Lome. Malawian Airlines, Equatorial Guinea, Cameroon, Camerco. We are very much proud to extend this service to our colleagues, operators in the region. The dedication and skill crafted by the maintenance operations personnel have kept the Ethiopian fleet in service for 70 years and are now poised to expand their passenger and cargo services to be the largest in Africa. With the largest proportion of Dreamliners outside of Japan, the Ethiopian Airlines brand is now a major force in bringing Africa's trading ambitions to realization. Through its expanding cargo operations, it is proving to be the lifeline of evolving industries such as the growing horticulture and meat export markets, and in turn, supporting the growing export-led economy of the country. You know, when we complete the cargo center that we are building, we are going to compete with Hong Kong, Changi, Singapore or Amsterdam, Schiphol in Amsterdam. I mean, in terms of volume, in terms of uh, technological advancement in cargo, uh, we are already the largest cargo operator in Africa. The bedrock of the Ethiopian Airlines operation today still remains an investment in its quality human resource. The largest aviation academy in Africa, established in 1957, now comprises of five schools, focusing on ground staff, leadership skills, cabin crew, maintenance technicians, and pilots. Skills are taught through an assortment of daily workshops and robust programs, which regularly train domestic and also foreign recruits. This is complemented by Ethiopian Airlines' high-tech training capacity, which has possession of the latest state-of-the-art flight simulators, further enhancing the airline's international reputation of training expertise. As you mentioned, Ethiopian Aviation Academy started in 1957 as a multinational aviation training school. That small building that you see over there, that's where we started. Right now we have an intake capacity of 1,300 trainees per annum. We have a comprehensive training offerings here. We train professionals in the aviation sector, ranging from ground customer services staff to cabin attendants, that is, in-flight service trainees, aviation maintenance staff, pilot trainees, and also uh, trainings in the area of leadership. Right now, we have cabin crew trainees from different countries in West Africa. They are training here with us in the academy. We provide the training here in the hub at Addis Ababa and also on site to where they are. Myself, when I came in as an instructor here in the Aviation Academy, we only had uh, a few classrooms over there and a few offices. But now in the, camp, in the last five years, we have made really huge investment in expanding the facilities, uh, upgrading the training in terms of quality, intake, and also this fabulous complex that you see here. So it is really making us all very proud to be working here in the Aviation Academy. So it's quite a gross. The airline today remains one of the most pioneering in the industry. Incorporation of the airline as the 28th member of the Star Alliance family of elite aviation players in December 2011 marked a milestone for Ethiopia's evolving brand and an endorsement of the achievement and future growth of the company. Further ambitions have also focused on gender equality within all ranks of the airline and recently culminated in November 2015 of an all-female flight crew en route from Ethiopia to Bangkok, another unprecedented first for the airline embodying the new spirit of Africa. While the airline industry in the future will undoubtedly have its challenges, Ethiopian Airline is now future-proofing itself and preparing its own staff, expertise and fleet to be ideally placed to weather the perfect or imperfect skies for the next generation of air travelers in Africa 
and beyond. What's next in the 21st century? We saw that Africa is growing, Africa is rising. One can confidently say that the 21st century is an African century. I'm very proud to see these investments are now serving not only the paradise, but the entire continent. Ethiopian Airlines, the new spirit of Africa.